I am so psyched to be talking to Rob Thorne, old and dear friend, um, and this guy is connected. I mean, he's been a trusted advisor to more than 35 Fortune 500 CEOs and hundreds of other leaders. He's written and produced a thought-provoking op-eds, books, speeches, articles, documentaries, videos, podcasts, conferences, exhibits, publications, and websites. He's placed speakers at exclusive venues all over the world. He's generated countless strategic media stories, handled hair-raising PR crises. It just happens. He's created and executed innovative storytelling programs and workshops. He's led award-winning internal communication campaigns on culture, uh, change, and engagement. He is now a voiceover talent. He's a voiceover actor for commercials and narrations in animation projects. He's spoken at prestigious conferences. He's keynoted for companies and universities. And he's been a member of the Consultants Collective, the Wall Street Journal CEO Council, uh, the Pali Media Council, Professional Speechwriters Association, OFC TVS Rockstars of Culture and Communications. And he's, people are calling him now on the phone because he's in demand. Uh, PepsiCo's <laughs> Diversity Advisory Board and the Dramatist Guild. Oh, yes. By the way, I forgot to mention he's a playwright. Uh, I could go on and on and on. He's currently signed with Alan Morell, chairman and CEO of the Creative Management Agency uh, for representation on literary talent, business management, branding, media strategy, intellectual property, and commercial products and licensing projects. I just know him as Rod. He's just like the guy I used to have coffee with. You know what I mean? Two upstate yeah. guys catching up. Rod, how are you? How's everything? I'm great, thanks. I was listening to the hair raising uh, PR things, and I'm thinking <laughs> it's actually hair lo losing PR things. <laughs> totally, <laughs> I'm on board with that. Listen, Rod, you're you're sort of a go-to guy for so many um, serious heavy hitters on a global level. I mean, what what challenges do clients come to you with, or have they come to you with over the past like five or six months? Um, as it relates to um, the challenges that are involved with communicating, communicating to their customers, communicating to their employees, communicating to the world at large. What, what are you hearing? What have you seen? Well, the obvious thing is nobody's in their office. Um, so, you know, how do we keep people, how do we keep employees engaged? Um, or how do we engage with even external audiences when everybody's hunkered down? You know, and, and honestly, in the last nine months, I would say, um, people have a tendency to hunker down mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and what they need to do is expand out. Um, you know, they need to communicate now more than ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people are wondering, uh, leaders, leaders are wondering, should I be talking about uh, high flying things and strategies and, mm -hmm. and stuff? Should I be doing that? Is now the time? Mm -hmm. Should I not be sensitive and pull back? And, you know, so they're really confused about what to do. So right. um, like uh, they, they don't want to be touting their own horn or their organization's horn at a time when everybody is so sensitive about everything. Right. Right. But they have, uh, to, but, so, they, but, but they have to be leaders. You know what I mean? They have to be the voice at the front of the rowboat, you know? They do. And, and, and what I do is I help people understand what their stories are and then how they can use their stories to advantage okay. to get things done. Okay. And then I help them tell them through all those things that I t you talked about. Well, that leads into my next question. Um, somebody approaches you, somebody you know, could be a, a brand new leader, somebody young, somebody inexperienced, and they're looking for one, of, one or two bits of advice on, on how to become a, a, better, a better storyteller. You know, mm -hmm. what, what would you, you only have like two minutes. What would you tell them? First thing I would say is practice telling stories. Um, you're never going to, you're not going to get it right unless you practice and fail. I've given keynote speeches where I, I was like Albert Brooks from uh, Broadcast News. <laughs> and, you know, with the flop The sweat. flop sweat, yeah. You know, uh, even though... Evidence to the contrary is that I, I kind of know what I'm doing um, after all these years, that imposter syndrome is still inside mm -hmm. me going, no, you don't. And whatever you have to say doesn't matter to anybody. <laughs> uh, so practice, uh, practice, uh, and also look for stories. And, and as a leader, well, talking from a leader uh, perspective is pull stories out of people. Mm -hmm. 
um, engage in multi-directional storytelling. So not just from a CEO down to employees, but from employees up mm -hmm. to you, and also from employee to employee that has nothing to do with the CEO. Sure. You know, and then you get like this hive of people uh, of sharing stories. So that my but, advice would be practice. And collect stories, be a story collector. Yeah, or a curator. Got it. Um, and, and a connector. That's fantastic. And finally, Rod, the question I ask everybody, um, what lessons have we learned or are we learning right now in this moment of high flux uh, that we must not forget? We have grit uh, inside of us. Uh, I try to teach my daughter this. I've tried to teach myself this. Uh, I've experienced it over the course of my life is we have grit and deep, well, deep reservoirs of strength that we can rely on. And it's, it's that attitude that helps us, that can help us all. Certainly I'll speak from my perspective, create a portfolio approach to life. Um, you listed a bunch of things, Dave, uh, that, that I do or have done. Well, rather than just put all of my reliance on one company, I'm a company now. Mm -hmm. And I write books for people. I write speeches. I do voiceovers. I consult on how to be a better storyteller. I give speeches. I do a lot of different things, and it's a portfolio approach. And, you know, some quarters in business, some of those things won't go very well, mm -hmm. but others will. Mm -hmm. And when you take a portfolio approach like that, frankly, if I was a company, uh, a bigger company, I'd be a better investment. Mm -hmm. It's a risk management uh, tool. So I know it sounds kind of wonky, but I think we can get through life if we take a portfolio approach to it. We can be more agile and have more opportunities. That's such great advice. I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to live that model. It's a challenge every day, but uh, it's definitely uh, inspirational sentiment. Rod, it's so great to see you again. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Yeah, likewise. I want to come down and see you. Oh, open invitation, dude. Have awesome. a good, have a good one. All right. Thanks. See ya.